Okay, folks, welcome back to the lab. What I have here is my uh, GPSDO. It uh, died on me. What uh, happened is it, the oscillator went. And I checked that out. I, I took it out of the board and I put voltage on it. No, no 10 megahertz coming out of it. So I assume that it is the bad part. And the way I was able to get it out of the board was by, by using this cheap solder sucker, heated solder sucker thing here, uh, which seems to do a good job because these holes are very, very small compared to the wires that go through them. So there's not a lot of uh, way to suck out, but this was able to do it. Now, I went, I ordered one. This just happened way back on the 20th of March. And uh, I ordered a new one. It came in from, from China. And it came in like this. It's, it's attached to a board. So <laughs> uh, supposedly these are tested, but I don't know how the heck they're going to test it when it's attached to the board like that. So I... I doubt that it was uh, actually tested and the ad uh, which I'll put up here clearly showed that the item being sold was unattached from boards so yeah I'm a little bit disappointed in that and uh, uh, the vendor is not getting back to me completely ignoring me I'll leave their name or you can see it in the ad so that you can avoid them I would not su suggest doing business with them anyway I'm going to with with the uh, help of my Fernusi soldering iron which I'll turn on now and this thing here, I'm going to try and get this off here, solder it in here, and get this repaired because uh, I'm really missing it. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to put some fresh solder onto all these joints here. Then I'll use that solder socket to try and suck them out, and I'll bring into play some little screwdrivers and stuff like that to slowly get this thing out. Okay, so we got fresh solder on all those things there and now we're going to try and, try and suck that solder back out again. It looks like it's done a really good job of removing the solder, but of course, it will always be some little bits of it in contact with the leads. So this is why I start doing, I start prying up a little bit with a screwdriver like this, maybe a, maybe a smaller one. See if I can get it to move a little bit, see if any, loosen up any of those little I don't care if I destroy the board. It's the <laughs> it's the oscillator that matters. You w might not want to use this method if you've got uh, a board that you're trying to keep good. And it looks like this one right here could use some heating up uh, to help get it out. Most of the other ones seem to have loosened up sufficiently. Let me see if I coax that one out. Okay, there we go. All right, we got it out. As I said, I don't think they would have been able to test this while it was in here, so I don't know if this is going to work or not. Let's, uh, let's solder it in, and we'll find out. Okay, let's see if we can get this in place here. Yeah, we're not wanting to go in. Maybe a little heating will help. There we go. All right, she soldered in. Yeah, just a matter of uh, hooking it up to a scope and seeing if I'm going to get anything out of it. Okay, I believe that this is the 10 megahertz. Yeah, according to that, that would be the 10 megahertz there. Let me attach this up. I've got some power here. And it looks like we've got the right lights are on. Let me see if I can bring up that scope there. That's looking pretty good. We've got our 10 megahertz back again. 
does seem to have a little bit of variance on it. I don't know if that's going to matter much. If you hear, look at just the top of the waveform there. You kind of see that it has um, a little bit of amplitude instability. But uh, the frequency is definitely right. And of course, once it's attached to the antenna and it gets those one second pulses, very precise one second pulses coming down from the satellite, it's going to be able to correct that frequency a heck of a lot better than what we see here. All right, good. We got that fixed, despite the fact that I had to um, remove the oscillator from this PC board. But I tell you, this cheap little thing here, I'm glad I have one. It's able to suck so hard and get that solder out so well. It's a handy thing to have. All right, let me put this back together again. And then I'm going to hook it up to antenna. Okay, got my trusty little screwdriver here. It's a very small Torx head screw, these. Yeah, that's supposed to go on. Why is that not sitting in there nicely? Oh, okay. How? Okay, so all back together again. Let's just make sure that uh, it's still working. Okay, now we're going to uh, put it back where it belongs. All right, so this is where this normally lives. So you just have to connect everything up here. That's my RS-232 going down to my computer. It provides all sorts of interesting satellite information. Here's the antenna, a little SMA jobby there. And it's amazing how sensitive those antennas are, because even though uh, it's not ideally situated, there's lots of trees in the way, it, um, it picks up the satellites very well. Okay, I'll, I'll mess with that in a little while. But there it is, it's in place now. All right, it's back in business. So. You'll notice here, there's a red light here. That'll go out once it uh, picks up the satellites and starts to trim the oscillator. So once it's within a certain um, tolerance of the specified 10 megahertz, that left lamp will go out. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video today. I needed to get this done, so I thought I'd make a video of myself doing it. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.